Hello, in this video, I'll be talking about Yilang Yilang. Specifically, I'll be covering what Yilang Yilang is, the, the properties and uses of Yilang Yilang, and the scent profile of Yilang Yilang. And so what is Yilang Yilang? Yilang Yilang is a type of flower that blooms off of the Kananga tree. Specifically, its name is Kananga Odorota. Uh, the Kananga tree can be found in the countries um, around the Indian Ocean such as the Comoros, Micronesia, Polynesia, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Madagascar, and the Philippines too, if I haven't mentioned that. So yeah, it can be in these um, countries, you can find in these countries, or in this particular locations, you can find the, uh, the Kananga tree. Some people just call it the Yelang Yelang tree, it makes sense. And so um, the Yelang Yelang flower, it has a very beautiful, aromatic, feminine, sweet scent that um, is quite alluring. And, um, and this is uh, quite sought after by perfumers. Uh, indeed, an ex a good example would be the Chanel, Chanel number no. 5 perfume. This particular perfume uses Ylang Ylang as one of its essential ingredients. It's, uh, yeah... And they use the essential oil of uh, that comes from the Yilang Yilang flowers, and um, to um, to get the essential oil, usually they steam distill it, meaning they have the flowers, and then they pass a steam through the flowers, and then the steam collects at one end, and um, and starts uh, condensing, until there's a layer of water and a layer of the essential oil, and uh, in this process they make uh, not just one essential oil i mean you can and that's uh, personally i think that's uh, the good idea but usually uh, what 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 the producers or or the distillers do is make a couple of different types of essential oil from that one ylang ylang flower so for the first part of the distillation they take or take out of uh, they uh, remove the essential oil and this is called um, ylang ylang extra this uh, essential oil is very aromatic. It's uh, a lot more aromatic uh, than what uh, follows after. And is very sweet, it's very fruity, and it has the best quality. Um, uh, it, it, is, it is the best quality and has the best quality uh, smell. And usually this, uh, this particular essential oil is sought out by the perfumers. And what follows is Yilang Yilang number one, number two, number three, and just um, at that point, I think it's called Kananga oil, just the oil of Ylang Ylang with a, that's like um, at that point, like used for soaps and stuff like that. And um, the, uh, what happens is that after the extra, after removing the first part of the essential oil, which is known as the extra, the Ylang Ylang one, two, three are heavier in its um, smell uh, in that order from one to two to three and over here i have ylang ylang number one i bought from uh, bulk apothecary and i noticed that this uh, particular essential oil because of how it was distilled and um, uh, fractionally distilled does indeed have a heavier tone than ylang ylang extra which has a very sweet almost candy like uh, smell this is a very good as a top note in the other Ylang Ylang essential oils, one, two, and three, uh, or I should say distillates, uh, are better as medium to base notes because of the way it was extracted. And so basically, one thing uh, you can understand is that Ylang Ylang Extra, it, is a, it has the lightest ar um, aromatic compounds, which quickly dissipate. And then uh, the other ones that follow it are, hev are heavy compounds, that can that may last for a long period of time, but they're less aromatic and that they don't have as good of a smell to it, a good uh, inviting smell to it. So let me go ahead and um, describe to you the scent profile of Ylang Ylang since I've been going off of how the distillation process works. So let me go ahead and uh, get my notes out. I've um, thought about the uh, you know what to how to describe the scent for a while. And so Ylang Ylang Extra, um, I personally found it to have a very candy, sweet smell to it, uh, almost like a fruity sweetness or candy sweetness that is reminiscent of jasmine. 
and I would like to say that has a very faint balsamic note of crushed pine needles. It's uh, this particular essential oil by the now essential oils. And if I smell it, it's like a very uh, fruity banana. It's like uh, the ylang ylang shares a banana note, but this one is very like fruity and very inviting and very nice. And so that's the um, sent description of ylang ylang extra. Now, for the, uh, the heavier ones, I just have here ylang ylang number one. And this one has a heavier smell than ylang ylang extra. When I first opened this bottle, uh, there was like a no, uh, note of like a sharp note of alcohol. But now that's kind of dissipated. I think it's because essential oils are vol volatile um, chemicals that come from the plant. And so it would make sense if there's uh, some uh, something that smells uh, alcoholic or volatile, I should say. It's not, uh, it's a lot more, now it's a lot more mellow. And this particular uh, Milang Ylang has a more of a banana smell. Like this is like a candy banana. <laughs> and this is a fruit, uh, this is a more of a mellowed down uh, version. That is very, um, that's still uh, very sweet and inviting. And it has, um, it's a, as I said, it's a mellow banana with a hint of spice. Indeed, that's, uh, I, that's what I smell. And it uh, has a, heavy, a heavier balsamic note compared to the ylang ylang extra. This is better to be used as a medium, uh, medium uh, note, right? Yes. Like if this was a top note, then this uh, for if you for making a perfume, this would be a medium uh, medium note for making perfume. If you want, if you wanted to think about it like that. And finally, I have Ylang Ylang Complete. I actually got this essential oil from uh, um, from Etsy. Uh, the sample was sent to me by Dan Riegler. Uh, Riegler and his um, he has a shop called Apothecaries garden and he uh, sells a lot of perfume perfumery ingredients uh, um, frankincense burning res uh, resins for um, you know incense um, and other uh, artisanally distilled um, essential oils and so this uh, particular ylang ylang essential oil is uh, has all of the um, partitions it is the complete distillation it's not like um, separately distilled and fractioned off or siphoned off and when I first smelled this uh, essential oil I've, uh, not I've not noted a uh, note of um, peppermint somehow and um, it was quite sweet and it also has some of the notes of the other essential oil uh, essential oil fractions of ylang ylang uh, Dan Riegler the owner of Apothecary's Garden who also sells this particular essential oil uh, described the scent quite articulately, saying that the fragrance of ylang ylang essential oil can be described as heady, sensuous, full-bodied, uh, in an inebriating way. It is sweet without being cloy and has a soft honey floral notes woven through with caramel and delicate spices. As it dries down, it reminds me of forest moss and fresh ocean breezes. That's how he describes it. And, uh, you know... I would like to say I kind of agree with him on that. Ylang Ylang is very exotic and it, it is um, quite a nice smell. Now, finally, let me go ahead and cover the properties and uses of Ylang Ylang. To list them off, Ylang Ylang lowers high blood pressure. It is a mood enhancer and antidepressant. Indeed, it makes me feel quite euphoric and quite happy. It is an anxiolytic meaning that it lowers anxiety. It is an aphrodisiac, meaning increases sexual desire or allows sexual desire, desire to um, more easily manifest. For example, they use ylang ylang flowers and they throw the uh, ylang ylang flowers in the bedrooms of uh, the newlywed husband and wife in, the, in those countries I've mentioned before, in one of those countries. And they uh, use this flower to kind of like set the tone and mood for the you know, newlyweds and so that they're more calm and, le and less anxious and fearful because these essential oils and smells do have 
do influence our um, cognitive function and how we feel, if you will. And anyways, it is um, used to um, reduce oily skin, ylang ylang is. And uh, ylang ylang is used as a skin whitener. Uh, it is, as I've uh, alluded to before, used as a perfume. It is used for preventing itchiness. Indeed, I've uh, found, I, I've read that online and I've, I wanted to try that out because at night sometimes I have itchy feet. And so my feet get red and itchy. And so I've applied a few drops of this um, Ylang Ylang Extra Essential Oil by Now Brand, by the Now Foods. Well, I'll, although this isn't a food, but anyways. So I applied the essential oil and I found that, you know, after a while, the itchiness uh, was reduced quite significantly. It was still there, but a, a lot better. It was a lot m more manageable. And so it indeed does reduce uh, skin, um, the itchiness of the skin. And I think it, it has to do with the fact that uh, ylang, ylang is an anti-inflammatory. Ylang, ylang is also an antimicrobial. It has an anti-biofilm property. It is an antioxidant. And finally, um, ylang ylang essential oil uh, has an insecticidal and insect repellent, uh, repellent effect, meaning that uh, this essential oil would kill off the larva and ward off the mosquitoes and kill off the mosquitoes um, you know, that you can find in the water or outside. And uh, I also, um, let me think for a moment. Although I would I like to say that clove, the essential oil of clove, is much more stronger in that regard. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.